everybody. I'm here with Nurse Cindy as we continue talking about our community helpers. So I have some questions for Miss Cindy. And you're in the nurse's office. So Miss Cindy, what does a nurse do? Well, at school, nurses do several different things actually. It depends on where you work. So I work at the school. So what I do is take care of all the little children at the school. If they have a bobo, I try to fix their bobos. If they don't feel good, then I try to make them well. And I also try to keep them well and show them how to stay healthy by eating well, by washing their hands, and doing all the things to keep us healthy. What is the difference between a nurse and a doctor? Oh, there is a difference. I went to nursing school so a doctor goes to doctor school and they go to school a little bit longer, well, a lot longer than me. <laughs> All right. Do you know what this is? What is this? Well, my Annalie, she's my, when she was in first grade, she was in Ms. Hawkins class. And she made this and I put it on my door and it is the inside of what your body looks like. And I thought it was pretty creative and cool because they use little bags for their lungs because that's how you're, when you breathe, they expand and collapse and they use um, yarn for their digestive intestines area. And they made a tube for their trachea and I guess the esophagus is in there somewhere. But they labeled all the parts, like the ribs and the bones, and I just thought it was super cool. So I hung it in my office. That's pretty awesome. What kind of tools do you use? Oh, yes. Okay. So I know Brenton likes this. <laughs> and I know everybody's seen this because everybody's using them now. This is a special kind of thermometer. I really love it because I don't have to touch. But sometimes they're not always right. Because if you get a sunburn, they don't work properly. So I have to use this cool thermometer. You have to put a cover on it because you don't want to get germs on it. And then you put it underneath your tongue. And then it beeps. And then I put the cover in the garbage can so I don't have to touch anything. And I put it back. And it tells me what your temperature is. And then I have my ears. Because these ears can't hear everything I need to hear inside the body. So, I have this. This is called a stethoscope. And I put my special ears on. If I want to listen to your heart. Or your lungs. And that's my special stethoscope. Now, I also have this tool. Which... We'll check your ears. It's called an otoscope. And I put a cover on it, and then I can look in your ears with a little light. It has a little light on it. And sometimes I use this little light to look at your throats, too. If you're having, like, a sore throat or a cough, something I'll look with my little light. I, this is my sink, because washing your hands is super important. And do y'all know how long you're supposed to wash your hands? How long? 20 full seconds. So that means you can either count to 20, which is super boring. So I like to just sing happy birthday. If you sing happy birthday, and don't rush it, then it's 20 seconds. And you want to rub all your hands together with the friction, get them all between your fingers, and warm water is best. And that, then you want to dry them. Yes, that is awesome. What else can we do to stay safe and to stay healthy at school. Hey. Germex. If you can't wash your hands, Germex is great. Also, you want to try to, well, that's hard to understand, I guess, but distance ourselves. So we try to distance ourselves. I mean, we hear, hear a lot of social distancing, but that's what that means. You want to stay a little bit further away, just in case that person may have germs and they don't even know they have them. Well, that sounds awesome. Thank you for taking a few minutes to tell us about your job and what you do here. 
and you are an awesome community helper. Yay.